Good evening. <laughs> Good to have you with us. We're always glad to know that there are some people who want to be instructed. People who don't like the idea of believing that the policemen are the protector of the people and firemen by the same token. Although I will grant you, firemen and policemen have certain duties which are at times very helpful to the average citizen. But uh, I'm not speaking of these oddball times. After all, how many times in your life have you ever been held up on the streets? How many times have you been stopped in your car by a highwayman? How many times can you say that you have actually been in need of a policeman? Very few, I offer, and I think you will concur. And uh, we are entitled, I think, to a little explanation as to how these people spend their days. Now, when was the last time you looked at a cop and you looked him from head to toe and you thought, uh, geez, I'm in better shape if I try to protect myself? Let us face it, there are a lot of cops with completely gray heads, guys who are just about five or three or two years away from their pensions, and they can do nothing. If, uh, as they say in the comic books, quote, a desperado, unquote, was to confront them, they'd shit in their pants and probably get their gray head shot off. I mean, we can do without this thing. If we're going to have a police force, let us live up to the word police. To police means to keep in order, to protect. There are old, gray-looking bastards, guys that couldn't even protect themselves, much less you and me, patrolling the streets under the pretense of being policemen. This is shameful, really. Now, frankly, I could care less about the police department itself, but I just don't like the fact that we are being fooled. We are supposed to believe that the police department is here to protect us. These guys are pretty stupid. Firemen are no better than cops. Next time you go to a fire, don't watch the fireman who is carrying the hose or swinging the ax. Don't watch those guys. Those guys obviously have things to do. Keep your eye on the fireman that doesn't seem to have too much to do. Because the odds are, after that guy who has not too much to do has been in your parlor 20 minutes, he's got half of the small articles of your parlor in his pocket. That's right. Firemen are pretty close to being as dishonest as the average dirty goddamn cop. Your dirty, stupid policeman that can't even work in the A&P. He's got to be a cop. You know what I mean? Don't trust them. Well, first of all, we all know from birth that we don't trust cops. And we all know some of the tricks of policemen. We all know how they will pull their badge on you and give you a bad time. We know that cops are basically full of shit because you can tempt and taunt the average cop and he'll give up, okay? We know this, okay? You can never expect to get a fair shake from anything that is involved with government. There is nobody who has ever run a government who has ever been fair and righteous. Don't ever leave yourself open to these people because they're dirty. <laughs> That's a funny word, dirty. That's very basic. But they are. They're dirty and they're no goddamn good. In America, people answer to each other. There are very few individuals left in America. I happen to believe that I am one of them. You may think you are one of them. An individual is a person who thinks and acts for himself. Now, there are a lot of people who think for themselves, 
A lot of people who think for themselves, boy, they're great. They watch Marlboro commercials or Chesterfield or something, and they say, boy, I'm a man, I think for myself. But thinking for yourself doesn't make you an individual. No. No, sir. In order to be an individual, you must not only think for yourself, you must plan for yourself. And you must plan ahead, and you must live up to these plans. You must know exactly what you want to do.